That must be the postmaster's storeroom. Hello. Good day. I haven't seen you in Bewley before. I'm just visiting. Lovely. It's nice to see a new face. We don't get many visitors. My name's Henry. Henry Long. Nice to meet you, Henry. Thomasina Bateman. Wonderful. What a treat. You seem in a good mood, Mr. Long. It's just lovely to see a new face. Where are you from, Miss Bateman? Originally, a small town on the outskirts of Derby, Mr. Long. Though I currently reside in London. London? I've never met anyone from London. How very exciting. Have you lived there a long time? It's been quite a few years now, yes. I've heard that the air there is so heavy with smoke, it makes it hard to breathe. Is that true? Some days. Oh, you must miss the fresh northern air. Well, you've got that in Bewley. No factories out here. Such things are a blight on his creation. I were born in this very home I stand in front of. Bewley is in my blood. Why would I ever want to leave? Especially now I can meet new folk thanks to the railway line. I'm looking for Mr. Price, the postmaster. Oh, Mr. Price, my lovely neighbor. I'm afraid you've just missed him. Curses. I saw him wheeling a large crate into his storeroom just there. It must be mine. I really need it. Have a look through the window to see if it's yours. Where did Mr. Price go? I don't know. The man were in a hurry. I know he has family in Bakewell. That's miles away. Did he leave by foot? No, by horse. He must be a few miles down the road by now. Curses. When will Mr. Price be back? He didn't say. Could be tonight. Could be a few days. How infuriating. I told him I'd keep watch of his storeroom. And I'm a man of my word, Miss Bateman. I shall not budge from this spot. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye. Funny old fellow. I hear he lives way out on the moor somewhere. Have you seen him recently? No. Not for a long while now that you mention it. 
Why do you ask? It's a long story, but I was to meet him in Bewley. He invited me here. Well, I must thank him when I see him for inviting such an enchanting young woman. You flatter me, Mr. Long. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. The moors... Day. Yes. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? His lordship commands much respect around here, lass. Keeps me busy with work. Why do you ask? Just curious. How is business faring? I do an honest trade. There'll always be horses needing shoes, and farmers needing tools. You'll let me know if you need out made or mended. I'll do you a fair price. Thank you. My name is Thomasina. George Crozier. Can I help you? Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Aye. Born and bred. That's where my father's forge before mine. Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Oh, aye. Old Leonard. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lass? I need to speak with him. He invited me to Bewley. Oh, he'll turn up. I've seen him in the plough and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Can't tell you out more than that. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. <sighs> Alas, it is not mine to take. The bucket is rusty and full of holes. Good day. Hello, miss. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Not a lot. I know he's in charge around here. Does he come to the village often? Not really. He has a manor out on the moors. Have you ever been there? Heavens, no. Villagers aren't allowed there. Why not? Don't know. It's just the way it is. Hmm. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Hello. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Not to say, except don't be sniffing around his lordship's manor. You'll end up with a round of shot in you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Just mind your own business around here. I really must find Hobbs Barrow. What did I tell you last time? Not to be found digging around in those things. 
Goodbye. Ta-ra. Nobody home. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but... The man is standing right... The postmaster isn't home. If you're looking to collect your post, you'll have to wait until he gets back. Smith is right. I don't think anyone is home. Hello. about Lord Panswick. He gave me some sweets once. My friend says that Lord Panswick has special trees at his manor that grow sweets on their branches. Do you think that's true, miss? I think that's very unlikely. Me too. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss.
can't think of anything else to... The road disappears over... Have you found Myrtle, miss? Wally told me he's given Myrtle to the fair folk. Now I'll never see her again. There, there, child. I'll get your doll back, don't worry. Where can I find the fair folk? Wally says he sees them on the moors, dancing and riding on the backs of birds. Hmm. But be careful. You don't want to upset the fair folk. How so? They'll put a hex on you. Jane? I'm quite sure there is no such thing as fair folk. Don't let them hear you say that, miss. Tell me more about the Ammon's Horn. Daddy said we should never touch it. It will make the god angry. What god? Ammon, of course. How wonderful! I'll be sure not to touch it. I wouldn't want to anger the gods. Sensible. Wally told me you kicked him. Is that true? Wally is a liar. He took Myrtle and ran. He's such a little shit! You shouldn't really kick your brother, even when he does deserve it. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, miss. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. Lass, as I told you, there's no way down the path today. I'll let him get on with it. I can't think of anything.
Good day to you, Cyril. I'll do, lass. What are you up to, Cyril? Keeping an eye on that bleeding railway station. That's what. Thankfully, no one got off the last train. Really hate that station, don't you? Oh, I curse Midland Railway for bringing their damn line through Bewley. This is our town, our land. Tis no place for outsiders. So you keep saying. Anyway, no more trains today. Almost time to celebrate with an ale, I think. I could do with one myself. You pay in? Uh, no. Goodbye. Ta-ra, lass. There's nothing else I would... about Lord Panswick. Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. But for whom and to what god, I ask? Is he a man of faith? <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. It doesn't stop him from acting as our god-given ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Don't get yourself tangled up in local affairs. I do Certainly don't intend to. Hmm. Father Roach asked me not to discuss that with Mrs. De Plancy. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. I'm still looking. Don't worry, I'll find her. Thanks, miss. The water. The delicate flowers smell rather sweet. Thank you. 